Let's get back into the adventures on the honeymoon. A cruise ship which has actually turned around, I think. So they are going to go, you know, go find Patrick. Uh, Emily, for some reason, seems to be ending up in the kids' room. Uh, oh, we actually don't have the shark chairs? Oh, come on, we need the shark chairs. Ooh, something new. Wait, what is this? Puppet boat. Turn the puppet boat into a puppet boat. Puppet booth into a puppet boat. R, matey! Increase the plunder received of the children watching the puppet show. Cuddly animals. Uh, Emily walks a lot faster and a lot happier because these kids have some dirty shoes. <gasps> Robo dog, 3000 XT. Buy a mechanical dog to entertain the kids, and it's a rob it's a robot and a dog. What's not to love? Children can keep their patience by counting to ten in nautical flags. Educational and fun. Why is Denmark in there? Is that Japan? Huh. Cool. Uh, let's have this Emily walks faster because I presume Emily's the one actually serving this time around. And apparently- oh, why am I here? Yeah, I can't do that, but she's whistling. What happened here? Where's Jimmy? He told us we should grow up and learn to take care of ourselves. Yeah, he just doesn't want the responsibility. Oh, Jimmy! Next time Jimmy leaves you guys alone, you come and tell me, okay? Okay! I think we're gonna be cleaning? Maybe? No? Oh, he's the cleaner! I don't remember your name, but hey! You're the cleaner! Awesome! I'm sorry I went a bit all high-pitched there. Whoops. She needs to get out of my room. And Sasha couldn't possibly have told me that like two minutes ago before we actually started this level. No. Absolutely not. Oh, we have some green. Of that, whatever it was, too. Some sort of Play Doh or something? Yo, I hear you. here? Man. Sorry. Okay, mouse, come back. I need to find you. Yeah, you were there. Awesome. Yo. 
you actually can't choose anything else with these two puppets, so... Ring! Pirate and dragon, or whatever. And of course, now you want one of those, because... Why not? Like, this doesn't even look real. Like, I'm kind of concerned if the children are actually eating this, because it looks like some weird, like, Play-Doh stuff. I'm like, mm -hmm. really? milk. You can totally do that. work though now ah, sort of super trip oh yeah no I was cool oh the day's over and everything oh wow hello is Patrick coming I'm afraid not he Patrick got left behind on the beach <laughs> and I I I don't even know if he's all right Too. Oh, actually, we haven't looked at previous. Sorry, previously. Last time on, in typical fashion, Jimmy discovered that there was there was a kids' club on the boat and no one to staff it. Much to Emily's chagrin, Patrick offered to help out for a while. In coming face to face with Patrick's obvious gift for nurturing children, Emily's conflicting emotions about be becoming a parent were brought to a boiling point. I don't know if he's nurturing them. I don't know, but like, yeah, sure. I kind of want the nautical flags. It's educational and fun, like, who doesn't want that? <sighs> yeah. Wow, guys, you really have cleaned up a lot. You're here too early! We wanted to surprise you! Really? <laughs> because I think this place looks great. How about you all go play and I finish the rest? No, they're just gonna stand here. <laughs> they are part of the scenery. Oh, oh wow, there are babies here now? Uh, apparently so. Oh, there's a mermaid!
than the milk guy. Awesome. <clears throat> Four things to clean up. Where's the fourth one, though? Like, I see one there, but, like... No one wants the mermaid? What? Oh, there's a football in there. I didn't see that before. Golden heart, yes. Mermaid and the dragon! Oh, that's a clean up. Okay. Take two. All right, let's get the last cleanup, is what I'm trying to say. Yay, more mermaid stories. The mermaid and the dragon became best friends and lived happily together. Does this kid want milk again? That would be... Fun if he... Oh yeah, he does. I mean, I presume all of these are random. Completely. Although maybe this kid just actually buys more milk than any other kids. Like, it's actually made that... Made like that in the code. Like, he is more statistically likely to buy milk than the other kids or something. Like, I don't know. That would be really cool though. They had like a bit of personalities, so to speak. So to say, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what are we making now? Mermaid dragon! Dragon mermaid! Oh, apparently I took- <laughs> I'm holding two dragons. I'm so in love with dragons, I'm just gonna pick up two of them and keep one secretly for myself. Oh, yeah, I just missed that combo. I can make a new one though. Yeah, expert. Mm. 
There we go. It's closed. From Patrick. He told me pathologically. You mean telepathically? That's what I said. Kids. They're hilarious though. Kid logic is like the best. We're gonna have a little photo here. Or memory, whatever. Um <clears throat> I don't know. Do I wanna buy anything? More? Not the robot dog. Not the rainbow pop. Okay, you could actually we could actually buy these two and then I'm actually not interested really in anything else. So we're just gonna save all the money. Oh here we go with the babies. And he's been crying like this since we started the crows. We really need just a tiny bit of sleep. Looks like she's in good hands! But I never took care of a baby before. Okay, oh, there's a sailor now. We should probably not put the sailor and the mermaid together, because the mermaid's probably gonna eat him. Oh my god, that baby actually makes sounds! I didn't remember that at all, it actually talks! It makes baby sounds! Mm. What? Right, Emily, you just need to keep the baby alive. Actually, if we put the pirate and mermaid together, the mermaid's probably gonna get the pirate as well, so. Sucks to be a pirate. That baby is very good at entertaining itself. <laughs> oh, actually, you want a new diaper now. <gasps> Those baby sounds are so adorable! <clears throat> Chill. Well, we got one. Eaten up sailor there. I guess if he, if he sticks like cotton in his ear or something so he doesn't actually hear mermaid or not talk to the mermaids or like not see the mermaid. Maybe any sexual sailor would have an easier time though. I don't know. Mermaids are usually dangerous though, so yeah. Keep dish dinch. Actually, maybe mermaids just eat everyone. They don't really care what gender identity you have. They're just like, food. Or perhaps, you know, getting rid of people who are annoying them. And all up in their territory and personal space. I don't know. They're doing something. <clears throat> Memory captured. The kids drew us. No. Now you want a bottle. Gotta have it the right temperature. Baby! Go for it. <clears throat> mm 
Okay, we're kind of far away from even Target, so... I'm like, mm. Sailor and the Pirate! New diaper. New diapers forever. It makes such cute baby noises though. Well, I can totally understand people getting stressed out about those baby sounds. Should hopefully be able to make it to two expert points in the end though. That's yeah, probably cool. been left behind too? <laughs> you have, haven't you? Well, let's just make the best of it. Mama! I'm not your mama, little girl. Although, you are very cute. Kids drew us. The two kids that are always together drew a picture of us. They told us they wanted to be us when they grew up. <laughs> uh, one of you knocked out in a beach left behind? Or down a well? I don't think so. <laughs> Although that's probably not the parts they mean. But anyways, that's it for this episode. So thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see ya.